Welcome to today's cuts. We pretty much cut all of the rough that I possibly had. And everything's turning out really nice. This was one that we found today. I have a big slab of this. It's onyx. A little bit softer. Some rhyolite floaters in there. That's what that outcropping, that white rock was, if you cut it open. Some brown shell sydney. Some more of that dendritic stuff we found yesterday. Yesterday that one rock that we found cut into a cube. So that was cool to have a lavender that made it into a cube. Everything's turning into a cube. We got a lapis cube too. Some nice Chilean lapis. It's a little more low quality, but I was able to get this one side to look really blue. It's the optical illusion that that's good material. Look at how the whole side is all matrixy and white and pyrites. But actually, this pattern is pretty cool over here on this side too. So all pyrites and calcites, very little lazarite, but what is there is very electric blue, that's a cool cute, cute it, I love that, purple chest with me, I'm trying to get everything flat so that we can start cutting it into cabbageons. So everything's starting to get more into preform shapes. What we're going to do is trace out what shapes that we want to put on here and then start cutting them with the tile saw. And you can't do curved cuts with the tile saw or you'll wear out the edges of the blade. But you can do straight cuts like these and sort of get it into more of a rounded off shape or triangular shape, whatever shape you're going for. I tried cutting some of that yellow shape. And it wasn't that great. It was okay. The further I went in, the more it was like plain, so I just cut this one. Maybe one of them. 